And tonight's big story, Kurt Warner's ailing head. 3TV Sports has confirmed Warner is seeing an ophthalmologist for blurry eyes, likely related to that concussion he suffered earlier this month. His return date, well, it's up in the air right now. It's all coming at a crucial time for the Cardinals. They lost a heartbreaker to the Titans yesterday. And this Sunday, they play a crucial nationally televised game against Brett Favre and the Minnesota Vikings. So what's the chance Warner's going to play? That's what everybody's talking about. So joining me tonight live to talk about this is Dr. David Carfagno, who's with Scottsdale Sports Medicine. And you're an expert at this. You see concussions every day in your practice. So let's talk about this uh, blurry vision thing. He's going to see this ophthalmologist. What is, what is your take on that? What's he looking for? Well, I think part of the mechanism is, is he's having some what we call post-concussive syndrome, mm -hmm. meaning that the symptoms of the double vision and blurry okay. vision are part of the whole mechanism of a head injury in itself. And it, it, depending upon how they have recovered and rehabbed him, he's probably having some metabolic, I guess, challenges right now. And it's, it's reverting over to his uh, eyesight. And so if we looked at this, the type of injury that he had, the mechanism is a biomechanical injury mm -hmm. that may have hit the, uh, the optic area that, that's causing him some of his symptoms. And if we can take a look at that injury, um, and you can kind of tell us what is going on there. You know, we saw this, we see these uh, types of sacks all the time. Here it comes. How bad is this? I mean, what are you seeing here, and, and what's going on? Well, a concussion is a mild traumatic brain injury that occurs due to different direct or indirect forces. And so our eye system is not only at our eyeballs, but it also goes around to the back of the head. And we'll see this typically as he hits his right uh, lateral frontal area. It could have jarred his brain just enough to cause symptoms both in the front and the back of the head. And it may have just been delayed. So it, it, this symptoms may have not occurred at the game, but maybe even a little bit beyond that. Now, now Doc, you've worked with some of the, the, player, the Cardinals players. You work with a lot of pro athletes and, and as well as amateur athletes here in town. What are the chances, in your opinion, seeing what you saw, that he, he may play this weekend? Depends on how... how First of all, how many concussions he's sustained in his whole pro career. Mm -hmm. Number two is, is really what kind of metabolic activity and his, his age as well as, as his brain is set up. If, if he goes back too soon, whether it's exertional or even things like cognition, like mm -hmm. reading and memory skills, right. that will help delay his recovery. So hopefully he's shut down pretty well. Uh, for the rest of the week and see how we, it's going to be a day-to-day -day basis. All right, well, Dr. Uh, David Carfagno, thanks for coming in today. We appreciate the insight there. You know, the NFL is considering changing policy because of all of these concussions. We've got Brad Sesmat who's joining us as part of this story. Brad. Yeah, Beverly, this has been a hot-button issue for NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell, and now the league is set to announce some real change when it comes to players' health. New guidelines aimed at expanding grounds for removal from a game due to a head injury, are going to be announced later this week by the commissioner. Current rules state that any player who's knocked unconscious during a game is prohibited from returning, but under new guidelines, players who show signs of concussion, could be memory loss, wooziness, dementia during the game, will also be subject to removal. And in addition, the league is also considering prohibiting running backs from lowering their head and striking defenders with their helmet under certain circumstances. So wide range of changes that the NFL is considering.